Love Them Knives channel. Whew, man. <laughs> Tucson Knife TS81. It's done and it's fun. <laughs> Can we talk? Wow. I saw this knife on Instagram. And the designer is Wong Denjin, which is, I probably pronounced wrong. Maybe it's Zin. I don't know. X-I-N is the last name. But Wong is his first name. And wow, what a design this knife is. I don't know about you, but this just like hits all the lust buttons uh, on uh, on my table. I, I don't know. It's just there's something about the design of this knife that just really appeals to me. It's crazy. There's a lot of machining going on here. I think I paid like 78 bucks. It might have been it might have been 81. I don't know and I don't really care to tell you the truth. And if you think, well, you get you a little Tucson play toy there, titanium and D2, hell, you shouldn't be paying over 45 bucks for it. Tough luck, buddy. I ain't on that train. That train left the station after I saw this thing. <laughs> and this thing said I don't give a rat's ass. I'm going to own one of these. Just saying. I don't know why. But man. And I send it in. Oh, oh, by the way. Not only does it have incredible action on it. I really, I swear to God, I thought this is multi, multi uh, row ceramic bearings. It's not. It's single row ceramic bearings. But the action on the thing is incredible. These are bone inserts here on the titanium. The titanium tested TI-6-4, right? TI-6-4, grade five titanium. According to the PMI gun, right? The XRF analyzer gun. Send it to Pennsylvania to a steel place where they have the HRC testing, the Rockwell testing, and then the analyzer gun where they can shoot it and they can compare to known steels. Actually, their gun is programmed with the software suite for D2 as well. So it does actually show up on that. And I'll prove it to you. I did in my other video. And I will put the links to my test videos. I've been testing various and sundry Chinese knives. And I'm going to start testing whatever other knives too, because maybe we need to know about the HRC as well on some of the American knives or Italian knives or German knives. In any case, TS-81 D2 is real. They do have D2 software um, in there that will actually identify it on their device. This is their printout here. All the way through. Okay, and the scales, titanium scales, TI-6-4, which they actually have the software in their system. Now, they're a steel fab place. They don't do cutlery. They don't make cutlery, okay? So they don't have software that's going to pop up and say S35VN or CTS-204P or M390. So, by the way... You know, so when I do my test videos, when it says no match or something, then it means that it's no match in their software system. What they do for those types of steels is they take a known S35 or M390, they shoot it, they get the readout, they compare it with the printout of the knife we're testing to see if it's a match or not. So in any case, yeah, all I got to say is it's centered up, it's just right. Look at that design. That thing flows. Don't see the back of the blade or anything. That is just awfully nice. Look at this. I don't know if you need to do quite as much here. 
that's a lot of texturing along this top ridge here but it it doesn't bother me you know and it's kind of cool with the design the backspacer I mean, if this would have been open design i would not have liked it as much i'm really happy they put a backspacer in there and they matched it you know Whew. milled pocket clip in titanium with a, looks like a ceramic ball i don't know if that is or not but it looks like a ceramic ball goes in and out of the pocket just fine there's your lock up that's pretty heavy that's 50 percent and it's got now oh, come here little flashlight thingy uh you can see the insert hardened steel insert with detent ball and it's a ceramic detent ball in there now they didn't they didn't excavate anything from underneath the scales because they had excavated the scales for the bone insert. Oh, by the way, maybe you might want to see a picture of it disassembled right here. Single row ceramic bearings. And see how they're doing... These rings, usually you just get some, these are just come in contact here and then they come in contact with the steel, um, with a steel washer in here. But here they have these that lay down. I mean, the bearings obviously fit inside this row and then this goes in here, that goes in there, but the bearings are in here and then that row pops on on the outside on both sides see what I'm saying. In any case, there's your oval travel stop, your hardened steel insert with the ceramic detent. There's your pocket clip. And they actually have O-rings on that. So it keeps it from backing out when it's tightened up. It's just nice. And there's your blade stop there. Nothing all that difficult. You can see the O-ring here inside. And the insert, I flipped that scale over just for reference. I got so many pictures of disassembled knives pretty soon. And I, I made sure that this, so I'd know that this was a TS-81. In any case, there you go. Hey, it's all good in the neighborhood. That's for sure. It's a big knife. It's a pretty good sized knife. It's slender, but it's not tiny. That's for sure. Not quite a four inch blade, but you could argue that point. I mean, you could go up here and go, well, three and seven eighths, whatever. But you're looking at a hundred, really a hundred millimeters there. Um, eight and three quarter, a little over eight and three quarter overall. Uh, 22 and almost 22 and a half centimeters. That's a good size knife. That's a good size knife, which I like. I, I, I'm, I'm good with that. Okay, so it's not nine inches, but it still looks even bigger than the paramilitary two, even just like this. Flip it over. And of course, then the Tucson even looks larger. And it is larger, my friend, but it is slender. So it's not really tall this way. That's pretty slender in there. Let me grab my little measuring so you can kind of just see 0.81 of an inch now flip it closed how tall is it going to be here up here at the head 1.14 i mean not accounting of course for the flipper tab wow that's nice and let's go across these ridges on that bone to try and get a 0.53 of an inch, uh, 13 and a half. And let's see if we can get a read on this. Yeah, four millimeters. So that'd be about 0.16 of an inch. Very nice. Love the way it deploys. The action is just incredibly smooth. Of course, I pulled it apart, put it back together, but... Um, some knives, I mean, they behave the same when they're before and after. This one, um, I don't know that there was that much improvement after I took it apart, kind of purged it, and then 
put some KPL or whatever in there for lube, put it back together. Intuitive flipper tab here, jimping on it, really easy to flip that baby open. Nice, you got a choil up here, not so much for going forward. Watch it when you go forward, you might get bit. Um, but yeah, and will it be a knife? Well, what do you think? Man, that was a high HRC on that, wasn't it? 60.6. Now we're getting somewhere. That ought to cut. That ought to cut. And piercing? Hello. I mean, I like the way they did this little diamond design. See, as a knife design, if I was a knife designer, I wouldn't be thinking about these little styling cues and stuff. And they did. I'll tell you what. I mean, say what you want about Tucson. But they are getting some designers in the house that is kicking it way upstream, way upstream. I mean, is this worth 80 bucks? I, I, I don't even have to wait to answer that question as far as I'm concerned. Hey, let's check this. Let's check this. Let's check this hardware out. I know this is a number eight in here. Yeah, that's a number eight. But how about this? Yeah, I mean, these are not number sixes. These are number eights. So that's really nice. Let me see if that's a six or an eight. Uh, that must be a six there. But these two are number eight, so you could take this apart uh, with the, all a number eight. It's nice that they have that big an opening, uh, that big a Torx screw there. That's, that's good. I haven't tried to take these uh, inserts out, but it looks like they're just screwed in, like it's not adhesive. So. If you took those out, could you anodize this in different, like a bronze or something else? Something that may go with that, that kind of antique looking bone, kind of a yellowed bone, which obviously changes from knife to knife. It's really crazy. I don't know, but you know, uh, the guy that made my carbon fiber scales for my lion steel shuffler, could probably make carbon fiber scales to go into here. That's a thought, isn't it? Man, you could really do some stuff with this. Because, yeah, this would be really cool with, you know, maybe black or that kind of that white carbon fiber look or any color uh, would be interesting. Put some G10 inserts in there. Man, that thing is just nice. That is just nice. How much does it weigh? Sorry, I'm oogling over it and I'm taking all your time. But I just I just think it's a knockout. Uh 124 125 grams, that's not bad. And 4.4 ounces. I mean for a knife this big, that's basically a four-inch blade. Oh, and his other knife, which is a lot heavier, is the TS89. Man, this is this is another Wong design. And I'll tell you what, this knife just knocked me out when I got it. And then when I saw the TS81, it's like, what? Oh, and let me tell you, go on his Instagram. Go on his Instagram. I'll give you the link to his Instagram. And it's just Wong Denzin uh, is the deal, but I'll give you the link. There's a knife that I think it's got some orange inserts or something in it with there it's blackened like PVD black coated on this on the frame. Oh my god, that thing pops and it is crazy looking, but it's a beautiful design. He's got some other designs out there. I hope Tucson keeps using him or somebody does. I'll tell you what, some of these other guys need to get him in their in their uh, corral, you know, bring him into Kaiser or Wii or Riyadh or somewhere because this is talent to me. I mean, this is, this is, these are beautiful designs. I don't know. I mean, check that out. Look at that front choil. Ergos are good. Reverse grip is wonderful. No hot spots with the pocket clip. I mean, somebody was thinking a few things out, you know, the choil, the nice shape of the blade. I mean, centered, great action. Can I throw this out? Let me try and throw this out. Hold on. 
Yeah, I can. I'd say it's a five, maybe, at right there. Can I fail it? Ooh, no. Can I fail it? Ooh, tried, almost. Well, you know what? That is so smooth. Even though maybe that's only a five, it's not a real stiff detent. Man, that is smooth. Damn it. I'll tell you what, I really like it. I, this is the most fun I've had with an $80 knife in a long time. I just love the looks of it. It looks a lot more expensive. I'll tell you what, cover up the badge and you tell me if some known designer or mid-tech custom knife maker came out with a knife that looked like this and said, Okay, throw S35VN on it and say, um, got one I'm going to make 200 pieces of and they're going to be $320 a piece. I, you know, I can see it. I mean, I can see it. I Laugh. I don't care, but I can see it. There's a lot of guys going, you know, I got such and such a knife and it's as nice as a $500 knife I've got. And this one, all I got to say is, uh, this guy got to keep going. He's got to keep going because this is just too good. This is just too nice. Oh, man. It's fairly light, but it's big. It feels good in the hand, but it's slender. Goes well in the pocket. Ceramic ball. Milled. Lots of machine work. Insert. Customizable. You could change these inserts out. You could anodize this thing. I'm just waiting for somebody to get in there and really pimp the hell out of some of these. You know, get you half a dozen of them and do them different ways. I think it'd just be a blast. The only thing is you can't anode these because these are steel, but I don't think they're titanium. No. No. If they were tie, the hardware was tie, wow. You could really go to town. Might be able to swap it out for some tie. Get over that detent ball. There we go. Whew. Nice. Whew. That's pretty. That's just nice. Comes in a very plain box. Ain't nothing going on inside of there. But I'll tell you what. That is some knife. Okay. I'm done. Blasting away. Running my big mouth. But these. Just. Remember, you can't go wrong with either of these knives. You just can't. I guess you are going wrong. But it's all right. All right, I'm done with you. Take care. Hey, you know what we do around here. We love them knives, so stay sharp.